Please don't go. Why not? I need to talk to you about something. You already thanked me the other day for going up against my brother. I need to talk to you about something else. You know how I feel about your family. Thought we weren't gonna go there with each other. Wait, let me get this out. Because if I don't tell you now, I don't know if I ever will. Of course I know how you feel about my family. It's not like you've kept it a secret. You hate each and every one of us. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you here. I may have been wrong about your family and then about you. Thanks for waiting. I couldn't very well leave until I made sure I heard you right. You did. So are you saying you might be wrong about hating my family? Maybe. I mean, there's still some things I gotta work through yet, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Innocent until proven guilty, is that it? Something like that. So are you going to tell me what cataclysmic event could have happened to have opened your mind up to feeling that you're wrong? I mean, you've always considered my family to be one step up from the Manson family. I never understood why. It's about my family. Something that happened when I was a kid. I know you lost your father when you were very young. Yeah, one day he went away to work at Crane Industries and never showed up there. Never came home either. I can't imagine. Yeah, it almost killed Mama. I know your mother loved your father very much. Yes, she did. And what about you and your brothers and sisters? I mean, you must have all been terrified. Yeah, you know, we felt a lot of things. Scared, sad. Mostly, I was mad. I always blamed your family for my father leaving us. Why, because he worked for us? No, oh, because the night before my father disappeared, we got a call from Alistair Crane. Alistair? Yeah. I couldn't get what they were fighting about, but my father was very upset when they hung up. Did our father speak on the phone often? As far as I know, that was the one and only time that Alistair called our house. I was only a kid. But in my mind, I mean, that phone call was just tied to my father's disappearance. I see. That's why I never had any use for your family. I always thought that you were responsible for my father's leaving us. Until today. What happened today? Your brother Julian told me my old man was a thief. Now your father called him that night to confront him about embezzling money from Crane Industries. I never heard any of this. He was supposed to have a meeting with your father about it, to decide what they were going to do about it. He never showed up. My God. Yeah, that was the day that he walked out on his wife, his family, his whole damn life. And you got all of this from Julian? Yeah. I learned it today, blow by blow. I can't believe it. Your father didn't press charges against my old man. And at Christmas, uh, he gave her bigger bonuses to help her out with all the mouse that she had to feed. And Julian told you this? I asked my mother and she confirmed it. And when my papa left, the Christmas bonuses started getting bigger, and the bank eased off the mortgage payments, and your brother's story adds up. If your father is alive, then where has he been all these years? That's the hell of it. I reopened his missing persons case. You now someone's using his social security number, living and working in a small town outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Has been for all these years. Always. You know, and here I've been, pointing the finger at your family for wrecking mine. I was just pointing the finger the wrong way. Seemed like it was my own father's doing. You know, I, I always looked up to my father when I was a kid. I thought he was the greatest man in the world. And then he left. Is he dead? Did he abandon us? 
All I knew is that last time I saw him, he went to work at Crane Industries. You know, I don't know what the Cranes did to him, but I was damn sure that they did something. And I spent my whole life just thinking about that one thing. I mean, you must think it's pretty foolish, you know, spending your whole life thinking about something that happened when you were a kid, right? Doesn't sound foolish at all. I just found out something that I believed as a little girl wasn't true. And I'm still having a hard time accepting it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not using my childhood as an excuse. If I've been wrong about your family, then I'll admit it. I'll, I'll face it head on. But you're still not sure, are you? I mean, how can I be? That means my father was never the man I thought he was. The man that I wanted to be just like. But if your brother's for real, I owe you a big apology. I headed in for the cranes because I was sure for years that they took my father away from me. At least now I know why you've hated me since the first time we met. But that wasn't right. I mean, it's not fair to judge someone on the basis of their last name, whether it's Crane or Lopez Fitzgerald. Prejudice is prejudice. Don't be so hard on yourself, Louise. I mean, I did crash into two of your police cars, and not to mention smacking you in the head with a bottle. And then there was the incident at Halloween with the cream pie. You know, you know what? Right now is probably not the best time to remind me of those things. <laughs> You're probably right. Look, I, I just wanted to tell you I'm sorry, so I won't keep you any longer. Bye, then. Bye. I think that I don't know what you're feeling, but I do. It's just so hard to accept. My own father. No matter what anyone says, your father was a good person. He loved us. He loved me, and I will continue to love him till the day I die. Even if he ran out on you? Well, I would never do that. I know the kind of man I married. And I will keep lighting a candle for him every night. Just like I have since the day he left. I'm sorry about before. It's just that I got so mad. Louise, I don't have the answers to all your questions. I don't. But I know your father was a decent, kind man who worked his fingers to the bone for this family. And it's like a knife in my heart to hear you talk about your father that way. Yeah, it's like a knife in my heart, too, to hear what kind of man father really is. But you don't know for certain, Louise. You don't. I mean, Julian Crane could be wrong. Or even lying. Well, if he is, then I'm gonna find out. You're telling me Papa ran off because he stole money from the Cranes? According to Julian Crane, what, what, what about this guy in New Mexico using Papa's social security number? I can't explain that, Miguel. I'm just telling you that you shouldn't believe any of it. I don't want to believe it either. See, but I need to know. Look, I'm looking at the evidence like a cop. You should be looking at it as a son. Martin loved his family, and he loved his boys with all his heart. 
and hearing this talk, I feel like I'm losing him all over again. Look, the, the last thing in the world that I want to do is hurt you, Mama. But we need to get to the truth, don't we? What are you going to do? Going to track this guy down in New Mexico? Yeah. Going to call the authorities down there and have him arrested. Even if it's our... Even if it's Paul. Mio Luis, no. I mean, you'd really have Papa arrested. Look, you know, the one way that we're going to find out what really happened is to bring Papa back to Harmony, where he's finally going to have to face up to what he did. But if this man is Martin, he's your father, my husband. No. It's not much of a father or a husband if he walked out on us without looking back. I don't believe Don't you of... see? I have to know what to believe. I have to see with my two eyes what kind of man Papa really is. And one way or another, I'm going to find out what happened between Papa and the cranes. So help me, God.